Hello and welcome to my channel, Lala's Wild and Crazy Golden Years, where when life gives me lemons, I squirt someone in the eye. Okay, today's video is going to be about uh, exfoliation and slugging. Yes, exfoliation and slugging. Those two have been amazing for me uh, on my hydration and my skincare, just like sealing it all in. I mean, I use Tretinoin and vitamin C acids, and I use those, and it's very important that you exfoliate and extra moisturizing, which has worked with me for slugging. If you don't know what slugging is, I'll get to that in a minute. But we're doing with the exfoliation first, and you can pick any night of the week you want to do it, because it is a night routine, because you do not want to slug and go to the store. <laughs> you want to slug and go to sleep so you can wake up and go, whoa, magic. Okay, before we get to the exfoliation or any of that, we gotta wash your face because as I said, it's an in-day routine. So if you wear makeup, you wanna do a two-step uh, two cleanse. If you don't, then one step is good. I use Savannah Cream for my second strip, strip, second step. It's, it's a wonderful, gentle uh, face wash. It really cleans your skin and leaves it uh, soft and not dry. It's squeaky clean, but not dry. So then, uh, I'm ready to exfoliate. Now what I'm doing right at this moment is I'm using this, I just found this little ditty, this e.l.f. Holy Hydration uh, Gentle Exfoliating has papaya and tangerine in it. It's very gentle, very gentle. And since I use Trenton on Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays, I've been using this Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. That one, as I said, is so gentle, it doesn't have any real acids in it. They still don't want you to use it more than three days a week, but I put a good size in there and then I massage nice and gently, and you'll see all the skin coming off. I mean, that's what it's supposed to do, but it's so gentle, it's just, you can't believe it's an exfoliant. So when you're all done with that, when you feel like you've got all the gooch, then you put uh, lukewarm water on your face and rinse it off. Now, if you want a little more intense of exfoliation, uh, I'll let you know what I have used is this two-step two by Philosophy. And uh, it's, um, these are micro crystals, and this is salicylic acid and lactic acid. And they are, they're not as uh, hard, harsh as their big brother glycolic acid, uh, but I can't use the glycolic acid, but I've not had any trouble with this. If you've not ever used an acid before, you want to do some kind of test on you, somewhere on your body to make sure you're not going to have a reaction to it, because you don't want that reaction on your face. So we've taken our little micro crystals, and we're going to take a dollop out push it around on here and we're gonna uh, massage it gently. Now this stuff is like sandpaper too, so you don't wanna scrub really hard. You just wanna go gently. You wanna stay away from your eyes and your lips. So you've got it all over. You do that for 60 seconds. You can do it on your neck if you don't have any problems there. I haven't had any issues. Um, and then you take the salicylic acid and lactic acid. I just love saying all these big words. I feel so smart. You put that in your palm, about a dime size nickel. And then you place it on all the spots that you put the uh, little crystals on. And you'll feel it getting warm and tingly. That means it's working. And once you've got that all on nice and neat, then you let it set for three minutes and then you rinse it off nice and easy. Now you've exfoliated. All right. Next, if you are using this during the week where you have your actives, you'd want to go on with your normal routine. Um, it just, just a note that if you do actives and slug, I don't know, because it's holding everything in. I don't know if you could have a reaction. I'd want, want you to check that. I've never you, never done it. I've just done it where on the weekends where I exfoliate and then I put on a nice holy hydration. I'm really loving this holy elf hydration stuff. No, I am not promoted for this at all. I just really like it. It's all personal. All this is personal. It's got peptides and hyaluronic acid in it. It's not an acid though. It's it's deceiving. It's, it's a moisturizer. It holds in holds in moisture. So you've got that on your face and now you're ready to slug. What is slugging you ask? Slugging is an occlusive ointment of some kind. Vaseline, that seems everybody has that in their house. I use CeraVe healing ointment. I just, I love this stuff. This stuff is just, just wonderful for me. It's not as heavy to me as Vaseline. There is Aquaphor. You can use Aquaphor, whatever you have in your house. But you, you'll want to make sure that you know that slugging is not for everyone, especially people with really oily skin, because it does clog, it can clog pores, it's an occlusive, and cause breakouts. 
I use it because I, I have very dry skin at my mature age of, we won't, we won't say, you can just guess. And um, <laughs> I lost my train. But anyway, it, occlusive will hold in everything that you've done in, so that the, none of the liquid spills out. So you'll want to put that on. This you'll want to put on your lips and around your eyes. You just take a good size of that. It's very greasy. So I don't want to keep doing it. My hands are really soft today as many times as I've shot this video. I bet I've slugged with this. <laughs> so you put it on, as I said, all over. You can even do your body if you wanted to. I, I really wouldn't suggest it. Um, and then you're ready for night. And another good tip is to make sure you get a pillowcase that will um, uh, soak up all of this without ruining it. Like you don't want... I'm trying to move this thing. You don't want a, a satin pillowcase or a silk one. It'll make it really gross. So you'll just do a cotton pillowcase. And then you go to sleep, and the next day you wake up. Voila. And it does soak in. It takes a while, but you will. Your skin will feel soft. If, it, if you're still covered in it in the morning, you used way too much. So you want to be careful. You don't need much. All right. That's all I needed to tell you. And if you liked this video, I hope you did. Enough to like and subscribe, I'd be appreciative. And there's a little bell somewhere around here. If you it, Notification bell, if you click on that and choose all, then you'll never miss one of my enlightening, fun videos. All right, I'm gonna end on a quote today by Ellen DeGeneres. I just love her. She says, never follow anyone else's path. Unless you're lost and then you see a path, then by all means, follow that path. See you soon. Lala out.